and 10. Bo Jackson with the carry, Drini with the ball first. Opportunity to set the tone here, TD, for both these players. You always say you like to start on defense to set the tone, but Drini, he loves his offensive game. Yeah, he does, Drini, as we take a look at Kratobin's I don't know, watch, he's got that Jerry Rice. And Drini being one of the best defensive players in the world, Kratobin's gonna need that Jerry Rice to make some plays for him. Tackle, man. Ten. On the block. Tackle. Bo oh, Jackson with the carry. The other thing about Drini, TD, he labs with some of the best. You know he's one of the most prepared coming into the tournaments. Oh, without a doubt, labs with guys from his NFA crew, guys like Ghost, who we'll see in this tournament, guys like Prodigy, who we've seen. He also labs with guys like Boogs and Clef, so he's very well prepared, and he's going beam, deep already. Beam. DK Metcalf, oh, and DK trying to outrun Woodson. He'll get to the 34-yard oh, line. How about a 50 spot on third down? Up, what dude. a clutch stop by Drini already starting this thing off early. A little fade route to the outside. Drini's in that Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. You don't see it too often, but Drini's been in it all year. He's very comfortable with it. Oh, Jackson will lose three on the play. Good defense there from Kratobin. Seems locked in in this run game, and you know, TD, we talk about Kratobin looking for respect. That's what the name of this game is. Oh, without a doubt. Like I said, some people overlook Kratobin. They think his his belt win could have been a fluke, but he's been consistent uh -oh. year in and year out uh -oh. as Drini breaking There goes Bo. Right after I said he's locked in on run defense, Bo Jackson runs it down to the four-yard line. Little read option action right there, and he hands it off. That read option in that oh. Seattle gun bunch. That's the Jay Wolfman offense. <laughs> Shout out to Jay Wolfman. That was one of my favorite games to call. I loved watching that game. Yeah, the full out NCAA offense. A lot of fun. And now he comes out in the wishbone. Gun bunch for Draney. And a timeout taken by Draney. Didn't like his setup. I'm looking at the back of their shots. I'm trying to see if they got the belts in camera view. It doesn't look like Drini does, at least in the small two box. Yeah, I can't tell. It might be right behind him, on the chair behind him. I don't know, I can't really tell. But the crazy thing is about Drini, he's been in, t this is his 10th EA Major, and Nick, in five of them, he's made the final four or better. First and 10, Derrick Henry, get off of me. King Henry, lower in the shoulder. Look, when you're at the goal line territory, who else to give it to better than Derrick Henry, the big dog? He's fighting for it. I'd expect him to go right back to Derrick Henry again here. And why not? That's what the Titans did. Giving the Titans champ a little taste of the Titans offense. Rice motions over to the right side. Looking for a little power. Oh, it is Derrick Henry, but a great tackle by Woodson. <sighs> Goes back to Derrick Henry. This could be a big goal line stand for Kotobin. If he's able to only hold Drini to three after Drini's really looked phenomenal on this opening drive, uh, that would be big for Kratobin's confidence. Third down a goal. 2.22 left in the first quarter, first drive of the game. We're still only 21 years old. Drini Joka. What a career he's had so far. He'll go to RPO stretch. Great block on the outside. And King Henry will walk into the end zone. Great play call. Drini gives us a little smirk. He knew he had something cooked up. Goes to that RPO stretch. Derrick Henry gets to the outside. And what an opening drive from Drini Joka. That was impressive. Drini with the methodical walk down the field, closing it out with a little stretch run. And he'll open up this game up seven to nothing. And now we can see Kratobin on offense first. TD, what can we expect now, from Kratobin offensively? A lot of people maybe not familiar with what Kratobin runs. Kratobin loves that gun bunch. He's been like that for years. He's in that New York Jets offensive playbook. I'd expect him to mix in a little bit of bunch tight end, a little bit of some uh, shotgun tray. And then he's gonna. The thing with Kotobin is he is balanced too. He will run the ball if needed. Great player, and uh, looking forward to see how he does. Because the thing about Dream, like I said, he's one of the best defensive players in the world. It's gonna be a chess match between both these guys. And we haven't talked about it. First time hanging out with us during competitive night. We appreciate you checking out the stream. 
Uh, you see at the beginning that delay of game. Gentlemen's agreement, TD, such an important part to kick things off with these audible I'm adjustments sorry. and depth chart adjustments. Always a gentleman's agreement and competitive. That's what you do. You allow each guy to set their audible, set their personnel, sub in the players they need, so it allows the offense and defense to do it. Usually take a delay game and the opponent will decline. Let's see what Kratobin has dialed up. First time on offense coming off that win over some serious in the Titans Club final. Bunch over to the left side. Delaware Blue Hen Rich Cannon, that quarterback. <laughs> and he'll look over the middle. Ooh, almost picked off. Oh. Almost a book on first down. First play of the game for Kurtobin on offense, and he almost throws it away. That was a bad read right against Drini's zone defender. It looked like maybe a hook zone right there. Drini was not able to get the pick, but risky start, shaky start for Kurtobin on offense. Second and ten. Land it to Kamara. He'll spin forward. He's got to face the third down. By the way, an online ladder play. Kratobin out of the final 32. Number three in third down conversion percentage. 63%. He knows when to clutch up and call a big play. That's clutch. Anytime you can convert on third down in some big games like that at 63%, that's a great percentage. Got some great stats over there. And now Chris Hoban, though, already in that third down. Can he cook another one up here? Has not picked up a yard. Still sitting there that 25-yard line. Timeout taken. Much like Joke did in his game, Drini already down two timeouts. Yeah, and both guys are similar. You know, they love to play defense. They're not worried about the time in the first half. They're trying to get their adjustments set up because they want to get out to an early lead. If they get out to an early lead, they don't have to worry about the second half. So they, they use those timeouts to make sure everything is aligned correctly. Third and ten. Gannon stepping right. Look for a little playmate across My the field. He'll so throw bad. it across what the field. And find Kamara and get eight. Fourth and two. And it looks like that might have convinced okay. Kratobin to let the offense have a go at it. Got to think Kratobin's going to go for this after picking up eight yards right there. Nice little playmaker to the left. But now this is where it gets scary. If you're Drini, he's going to be dialed in. I'm, he might even bring some heat in this situation. Let's see if Kratobin can come out with a clutch dot early in the first quarter. Fourth down at two. Rice motion to the right side. Now look left side. He's got your Michael Finley. Great read from Kratobin. That's got to settle down the nerves as he picks up his first first down. Great read right there by Kratobin. A little corner out with a flat route underneath it. Gets behind the hard flats. He's able to rifle it in there for a nice first down. And that was big because it was fourth and two in his own territory. He's staying alive. First down at 10. Kratobin back to work that clutch conversion. Gannon stepping right, and he'll throw this one away. Smart, great defense right there by Drini, and, and great user too. He really came on and bagged everything. Kratobin had no choice but to throw it away. Drini, of course, was the youngest belt winner ever until Noah took that title from him. Won his first belt at the Madden Challenge at 18 years old. Kratobin won his at 20. He was the fifth youngest belt winner in history. Gannon, second and 10, in trouble. Throw out a sack. Lucky that one fell to the ground. By the way, not only, TD, is this a rematch of their battle in the clubs last year, this is a rematch of Kratobin's one belt. Kratobin took down Drini in that final back in Madden 19. Exactly. Kratobin stole that from Drini, as Drini puts it. That was such a big win for Kratobin. So like I said, these guys have a long history here they go again with another chance in another big game, this time a spot in the Final 16. Third and 10 for Kratobin, Gannon. Back to pass on the left side, diving catch by Finley, but it's gonna pick up no yards, fourth and nine. And it looks like Kratobin's like, listen, we gotta keep this offense train rolling. I can't lie, this has been a rough drive for Kratobin. He's throwing some questionable reads, he's really not 
matriculating anything down the field. And now he's putting another fourth down situation. He came up clutch last time. Can he do it again? It's been an ugly drive so far. Let's see what he can do. You're just waiting to use matriculate in one of these, <laughs> one of these games. I was. Gannon yeah, right side, what a throw, another fourth down conversion for Crit Tobin on the little in route. He does it again, he's looking terrible on offense, but when it gets to fourth down, he knows what to do. He goes to the dig route, past the first down marker, and he comes up clutch yet again. Into the I-4. Wow, what a what a drive here. What a weird drive here from Kratobin, TD. Hasn't been good on first down. Hasn't been good on second down. Hasn't been good on third down. But hey, fourth down, he clutches up. And that shows you why he's a winner. Listen, and he, things can go bad all game. But when you need it the most, you got to step up. You got to make a play. And he's done that twice here. That's why this guy's a winner. He's got a belt in his back pocket Kelly. hanging on the shelf behind him. Is it in his back pocket or is it on the shelf, TD? You can't say <laughs> both. As we take a look at his final 32 ranks, one of the best defenses, third in points per game allowed. And look at those numbers. He's looking to let his defense lead the way. Yeah, he's just a phenomenal defensive player. And I think that belt is way too big to fit in his back pocket, so. <laughs> Cannon third and three. Ooh. All right, there's one of those third down conversions. Oh, Fine and Finley. And Drini with the... The Drini, like it, it's like it's like a chin wipe. It, it's every time he gets a, he doesn't make the right play. It's almost like he's scratching that non-existent beard. Yeah, he is, and once again coming up clutch. I mean, this guy just keeps continuously doing it on third and fourth down. Comes up with another one. He's inside the red zone. First down at ten. Reese. Oh, Marcel Reese. More hits than an Ariana Grande album. What a play in the backfield. Huge hit right there for Drini. Trying to go a little halfback base out of that shotgun bunch, but Drini was all over it. Second and 11. Drini begging for the fumble ruski. 7 nothing lead. Kratobin, long drive. Working towards that three minute mark of the half. Gannon looks left side and Woodson almost picked his pocket. Yeah, that was another scary read right there by Kurtzhoven. It gets so tight down here in this red zone, he's just trying to squeeze one in, but Drini was ready for it. Problem with those tight windows throws is that window can get shut quickly. Drini's had a couple of those so far, hasn't been able to get the turnover though. No, he hasn't, and here we go again, Nick. Does Kratobin come up clutch yet again on third down and fourth down? I, I would expect if he gets to fourth down, he's gonna kick the three, but Let's see what he does on this crucial third and 11. I'm surprised he doesn't just take a knee here on third down and get to fourth down. That seems to fire him up. Gannon on third and 11. I had Throws everybody that one away. open, bro. Ah, at least. I agree. I agree, Kratobin. I thought you had some guys open. I thought the, the, the motion streak was open, but he has to throw it away. The sheds were coming home. And that was a long drive, but Kratobin battled it out. He came up clutch a few times. He gets points on the board. I had a feeling this might be kind of a grinded out battle. So he does stay alive, but great job by Drini only holding him to three. Drini will take this out of the end zone with Bo Jackson to the 15 yard line, just shy of it. We'll see him back on offense. Both these guys extended drives. One able to catch it for a touchdown. One takes his three. And now we can see Drini back to work. Yeah, Drini looked great on his first drive. I mean, he made it look easy, just moving down the field, uh, passing, running, doing everything. Like I say, he's in that Seattle offensive playbook. He starts in gun bunch, but sometimes they're audible around. He had a lot of success with this read option. He's gonna go right back to it. Derrick Henry, he was the one able to cash in for the touchdown for Drini. What a season he had. 2,000 yard rusher this year. TD establishing himself as the back to chase in the NFL. Who's the guy? Are you going with Henry? Are you going with Nick Chubb? I'm going with Nick Chubb. I'm a Browns fan. Come on. Dumb question. i got to go Nick, with Henry all day. Nick Chubb would have 2,000 yards if he didn't have a great back in Kareem Hunt behind him. True. That's a good point. He'd have 4,000 yards. He had 6,000 yards. Mostly because we'd want to hand him the ball and not have Baker throw it too much. <laughs> go. <True. laughs> At Erickson22 says, love watching these guys do what they do. Been waiting for this Kratobin-Drini matchup. 
Hashtag Madden Club Championship. TD, I think we've all been, when we saw the clubs, the standings line up, we went, oh boy, we're getting a treat in the first round. Oh man, everyone's gonna be got, got their popcorn ready for this one. Everyone's been waiting for this matchup. Yeah, uh, we've been waiting this for this matchup for weeks. We're finally here and it's lived up to the hype. It's a great battle so far. And how about Donnie Rose playing the role of Shazam? Recognizing Drini's listening to Rod Wave. He's picking Drini by a hundred. <laughs> Little Rod Wave action. I'm surprised. I thought Drini listened to some game sound, but he's going with music. Got a lot of good artists on that playlist. Stretch run for Bo. To the 40 and reaching for that first down. He'll get to the 44 yard line and he will get that first down. Yeah, and that's the thing about Drini too. You know, no matter how the game plays, year in and year out, Drini seems to always just play his style. He doesn't. It doesn't matter how the game works, and he's always successful with his style. You see him here. This is not. This is not a running game. It's Madden 21. But he's out here running stretches to the outside, and he's and he's gashing the defense for big plays. First and ten for Gannon. Rolling right, and there's the. There's a throwback to Madden 20, the delay fade from the tight end. Those tight end delay fades have really picked up a lot of steam here lately in the community, out of the bunch and bunch tight end formations, and Drini goes right to it for a big oh, pickup. How is he and there goes Bo play? left side, first down and more, near the 20 yard line to the 21. He, he is just gashing this Kratobin defense. Like, no matter what run he calls, whether it's just read option, whether it's a stretch out under center, he's gashing for Tobin's defense. Again, a pressure oh, set by Kratobin. Just gets rid of that one. Ooh, scary Kratobin dialing up the blitz. Dialing it up. Drini had everything open, but Kratobin was able to get home, force him into a scary uh, throw out of sack. Now Kratobin's going to call a timeout, set up his defense correctly. 29 seconds left in the first half. A even matchup so far. Only our third drive of the game, TD. Very different from our other games where it's been a lot of stop and go, three and out. These guys have been putting together offensive drives. Yeah, they have. They've looked great, especially Drini. I mean, he's moving the ball perfectly on both these drives. Only one timeout here, though, so he's going to be very careful with that clock. He's gonna run it with that one timeout, and he'll give it to Bo on the read option. Picks up seven, he'll hurry back to the line. 14 seconds and counting, hurry up offense. Third and three, back to Bo, okay, he Bo goes. Seven. He'll pick up the first down. And looks like Drini content to call his timeout and take his three. Drini is usually very conservative. That's how he always plays. He's always uh, thankful to take his three because he trusts his defense so much. This is right up Drini's alley. This is what he does, conservative call, run the ball, use that timeout, take your three, and go up seven at half. Culpepper, it's up, it is good. 10-3, the score, Drini with the lead. Damn, Very man. interesting first half from two former belt winners looking to get back on right. top and pocket that cool $150,000. It will be... Kratobin getting the ball to start the second half. He's looking to cash in with a touchdown of his own. Yeah, kind of a game that I expected. Grind it out, feel each other out. Both guys have had some success on offense. Drini able to capitalize in that last drive right there. Kratobin's going to get the ball to start this second half. Halftime in this one. The four-time club champ, the two-time belt winner, Drini, with a 10-3 lead, but Kratobin an opportunity to tie this one up with the first drive of the second half. What a day of action we have here for more on that live from one, who knows which one, one of the 10,000 links. It's Katie Emmer. <laughs> that works, that works. Thank you, Nick, and you said it right. It certainly has been quite the night so far, and if you joined us late, it's been a plenty of great action, especially inside of the AFC North. So here, John Beast took on k -Mac, second quarter tight at three. And then the Steelers club champ with the pick six there takes the lead and would go on to win 16 to six and would be taking him on. Well, first quarter, joke with a strip sack on Michael Vick. Takes the early seven nothing lead. JS the best would make it a game, but the Browns club champion would prevail. Eventually that final score 13 to 10 and that matchup will be coming up next. Looking forward to it when this game goes final. Be sure to check that one out. All right, Nick and TD, a lot to still look forward to. But as of now, we have a second half to be had. Back to you.
Thank you so much, Katie. Cannot wait for the two divisional final games. Who's going to take on Wesley for the South Division crown? Drini with the lead, but Kratobin a drive here. TD, big thing he needs to do, just find six. Rich Gannon back to work for Kratobin's offense. Can he find some success on first and second down? Something he wasn't able to do in the first half. Looking for anything. It's not going to be first down. Good defense. Great defense right there by Drini starting it off. Like I said, this is a big drive for Kratobin here. Got to start to move the ball down the field. He looked good on his first drive, but he got stuck in that red zone, had to settle for three. Alvin Kamara, Jerry Rice from Michael Finley, and T.Y. Hilton out there, wide receiver. Drini's defense finally getting to the quarterback. Julius Peppers right down the middle. Drini's starting to dial it up a little bit, get some sheds up the middle. Rich Gannon, not much mobility, can't get outside. Takes a big time sack. And now a tough third and 17. Uh, I, this might be a situation where Drini really dials it up, sends some heat, see what Kratobin can cook up. I think he should try to get half of it back. Third and forever. He's been good on these clutch downs. He will get part of it back. It's T.Y. Hilton. Just past it, looks like the original line of scrimmage. Fourth and eight, and Kratobin, for the third time today, is going to go for it on fourth down. Yeah, if he can do this again, it's going to be incredible. I'm surprised he's not punting plenty of time. Down seven, I think he's going to go aggressive, though. He feels like he needs to get points on this drive. Fourth and eight. Kamara split wide left. Gannon back to pass. Three-man rush. All sorts of time, but no one open. Somebody's going to have to bounce, and Drini gets a sack, and he'll take over on the oh nine-yard line. Gosh, it was man. Peppers once again getting to the quarterback. That is a huge oh. defensive stand from the two-time belt winner, and now Drini takes over. Already up seven, looking to threaten for more points. Already at the nine-yard line. That's big. First and goal. I'm gonna go to Bo Jackson, nowhere to go. He's actually only used a little bit. And for Drini here, he's already in field goal range. And you're not gonna see him. You mentioned he's a fairly conservative player. And that's what's won him a lot of tournaments. He doesn't take unnecessary risks. Very conservative. And that's the thing. Drini never makes mistakes. And he always keeps himself in the game. And that's such an uh, underrated aspect of competitive Madden. Drini's never gonna beat himself, ever. He's always going to stay in the game. He's going to take his field goals when he needs to. He just he just wants to get on defense. He wants to limit his mistakes, stay in the game, and he feels like in clutch moments he can make the right play. I wouldn't even be surprised to see another run potentially in this situation. Timeout taken. A second half timeout used by Drini. Third and goal from the 11-yard line. Do you expect to see anything in the air here from Drini or is he going to take his points and go up by two scores? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to, to, to see a run here. I think he might have a red zone dot cooked up that he wants to try, but don't be surprised to see maybe a throwaway. He's not going to risk any tight, any tight windows. Third and goal. Gannon, oh, he might have a to left Michael. side. High oh, ball to Michael Finley. Blocking oh, it from the heavens. Okay. Touchdown for the two-time belt winner. Absolute laser high pass back of the end zone right to the pylon. It was wide open. Great play design. And now Drini has really opened this thing up. Talk about up in the pressure. It's now a 14 point lead for Drini. And TD, that is the tough part about playing him because he's so conservative and so smart with the ball. He's one of the toughest to play from behind against. Exactly. And as we take a look at the replay, just the corner out, back of the end zone, high point pass. Jermichael Finley gets the feet down. That's a great play call. It's our Snickers touchdown replay. Jermichael Finley. He doesn't need a Snickers. He, he found a touchdown. For Kratobin. The threat level is rising. He needs to find a touchdown. Field goals won't do it anymore as Kamara. Over the middle. 
Oh, looking like Goldberg out there laying the spear. <laughs> little Goldberg, a little Edge, a little Roman Reigns hit him with the spear. Big time hit stick from Drini. And like you said, Nick, this is where it's <clears throat> scary territory for Kurtoma because this is the situation Drini wants to be in. Up two possessions, being one of the best defensive players in the world, he can really dial it back and force Kurtoma to use some of this clock. Yep. That's Reese with the catch. Never forget, one of the best spears ever. Rhino's gore. Guys, don't forget, we're gonna keep mentioning because I'm so excited. Get excited for a special presentation of the Pro Bowl, Madden wow, NFL 21 crazy, edition. Bro. Picked off by Woodson the other way. That Madden NFL 21 edition is presented by Verizon. It's a Pro Bowl game unlike any other airing right here on our EA Madden oh, NFL man. Twitch channel. You can see Deshaun Watson and Kyler Murray lead their two teams of NFL stars and celebrities as they go head to head in Madden. Speaking of stars, speaking of celebrities, we got a celebrity among us. It's one great user. User, my the man, Drina. the Drina yeah, bro, Joker. Look at tough out there. Let's go, man. The Joe, man. Nick, I was trying to get in so long ago. He out here making books and plays. I really don't even know what I came in for. Yeah, yeah, that's what I came in for. <laughs> Drina, user, man. user. Playing great. User. Defense. What's up, man? We, we, need, we need the life jacket. We might need it out here. It's getting a little rough for Kurtobin. Hey, man, listen, Crick gonna have to put on his own life jacket. I was rooting for a flood. I, I'm, you know I'm biased when it comes to my guys up here. Drini Joker doing what he's supposed to do, putting on a defensive clinic. And you know, he does not forget that L when he lost to Kritova. So he pays a lot of respect, make sure he plays sharp, not gonna make any mistakes, TD. And guess what? If the flood happens, the flood happens. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, user, though, you, we got to talk about it. You brought it up. We got to talk about the nickname. You're trying to spread the word around and let people know what Drini needs to be called. They call him the Joe Man. That's from Drini Joker. The Joe Man. You all remember Drini Bandana. You don't see no bandana this year. Remember, he got multiple bar personalities. So when you see the hoodie up like that, that's the Joe Man. He about business. You feel me? Hey, listen, it's true. Before we let you go, I gotta ask, because I have to know. Did Drini not wear the bandana because Boogs put on the do-rag and he feels like he kind of stole his thunder? Nah, I can't, can't. Listen, Bugatti Boogs, do-rag Boogs, you can't take away from the do-rag. At the end of the day, Drini felt like he needed to bring another energy. He felt like he had to get a little bit more gutter. So he said, I'm bringing out the hoodie. The Joe man is here. Drini joke in the building. I'm out, man. Y'all boys take care, man. Hey, it, we're having a blast here. <laughs> Always great to check in with the user. First and 10 for Kratobin, and when it rains, it pours. That's going to be an intentional grounding. TD, are, are we going to get the Joe Man nickname spreading? Is this one that's just going to stick into the into the Discord chats? I mean, it's all right. I still really don't understand it too well. Like, I get it, Drini Joka, uh, Joe Man. It's cool. I think it really is just Drini's maturing a little bit here. He's getting older. And, you know, he doesn't want to rock the bandana, but, you know, whatever you guys want to call him, that, that's your guy. So, user can do whatever he wants. Second and 20. Kratobin trying to stay alive in this one, down by three scores. Right inside, Marcel Reese with the catch underneath. Up, oh, up, oh, he Whoa. got up off the uh, off the defender, kept rolling. Marcel Reese showing some fight. That almost got interesting right there. Let's see if Kratobin get this ball off. He cannot. Force up in the chat. Fourth quarter time between some belt winners right now. Drain is showing why he's got two of them in control, up 20 to three. Third down, and right side, T.Y. So Hilton, we haven't called. Team, We've seen a lot of T.Y. Hilton on the field, TD, but I feel like we haven't really called his name as making any big catches. No, we haven't. We haven't seen a lot of uh, big catches from Kitobin in general. You know, he's got guys like Jerry Rice, T.Y. Hilton out there, but just not a lot going for him. He's staying alive, though. Throws a nice little dot right there, but time is starting to be his enemy. And up first and ten. Yeah. Throw this one away. How impressive. I mean, 
This is one of those games. This reminds me of Tony's first game yesterday. Everything seems to be working for Drini. Yeah, and Drini's really mixing it up well. You see Kratobin's not really sure when he's bringing heat and when he's not. So Kratobin sent out five right there, but Drini was bringing heat off the edge and there was no one to pick any of them up. Kratobin had to throw it away quickly. And how about the defense once again getting after Rich Cannon. It's Michael Strahan with the thick. That was a little, <laughs> I like that. And that was a little old school B-gap, as we like to call it, a little B-gap nano right there coming from Strahan. Untouched to the quarterback, Drini's really cooking up these blitzes. Right side, T.Y. Hilton with the catch on third and 19. It's going to be fourth down, and we're going to talk about what's going to end the game. This is the play. Yeah, this this is your ball game. This is Kratobin's club championship season on the line right here. Any chance at all to stay alive and have a shot, you got to convert on this play. And you got to start moving fast because that clock is really starting to tick. Fourth and six. Over the middle, that's a pick. That's Legereus Sneed, the rookie from the Kansas City Chiefs. He's looking for a Super Bowl ring, and he might be getting Drini. Uh, 7,500 bucks, sealing this one up. So bad all day, Big though. time pick right there for Drini, and that might be the interception that brings him to the all-time MCS career earnings. He's at 290,000. This will probably get him to around that 297,000, which I believe we can find a correct. We can we can see if Donnie Moore is watching, see if he can correct me. But I believe that will get Drini as the all-time MCS money winnings leader. That's big time, Nick. First and ten. Now Drini in closeout mode. He's so good with the lead, knows what to do. Oh. And he's looking to run this one out. Now we get to look forward, by the way. Drini, Wesley. Oh, baby, what a battle for $10,000. Oh, man, that is, that's the main event, right? That is big time. That's what we all been waiting to see. I mean, Wesley, as one of the best offensive players in the world, then you got Drini as one of the best defensive players in the world. That's a big time matchup, and this is a big time win for Drini. You know, same thing. It's just what Drini does. He didn't do anything special, especially on offense. He threw a couple clutch plays we needed to. He took his points, and on defense, he just shut the door from start to finish. By the way, gotta give a shout out to everybody out there on Twitch. We know we got the watch parties going. I love to shout out the watch parties. I'm looking at the list. Dub, Skim, Clef, Boogs out there, Chaos out there, DK, Pop. Shout out to everybody out there watching in those watch parties, hanging out with their chats. Shout out to you guys hanging out with us, Twitch, YouTube, and across the streaming platforms. TD, it's a great time to be a member of the Madden community. Oh, without a doubt, the numbers just keep going up and up. And that's a great list you just named, some of the best guys in our community. And they're, they're watching greatness right now. They're watching mm -hmm. Drini. Yeah. You gotta think some of those guys are saying, oh boy, Drini's starting to creep up on me as far as all time greats, but he's doing it again here in the club championship. TD, your instincts were correct. The stat czar, the guru, Donnie Moore, flying in the text saying, with this win, he will have a earned in his career $297,500 and will become the all time leader in money earned. Was uh, at man. just 21 Again. years old. It's incredible. I mean, that is just, you know, talk. you could talk about the belts, you can talk about the greatness, but the fact that he has done that, that shows that year in and year out, this guy is winning tournaments at the highest level, and he's only still 21 years old. It's insane. Clock's running down. Ball game is over. Two very different facial expressions there, but Drini Joka is into the next round. He will take on Wesley for the AFC South Club Championship title. What a win for him, TD, over a very capable opponent in Kratobin. Just absolutely dominant.